What's up guys, this is Base Brawler, and I know I've already uploaded a video today about the new Power Level Warrior gameplay video. Also, by the way, sorry for the crap quality. Hopefully it gets better as I play the video. But I just wanted to get this out of the way, sort of. I'm doing this differently from my uh, Burst to Power video, mainly because on that one, I couldn't really like see what was going on, and I explained what was on the top of my head, because I was doing a voiceover over the already playing video so now i can like do pauses and step by steps or whatever and <laughs> suno's doing like a weird like monkey pose that's pretty cool though um so i can like put my full thoughts and everything into this but anyway let's get going so um sorry for that first of all it has wave one like power level warrior two we don't really need to worry about that too much the combat on here is a lot more fluid than both one and two two ha or one had more fluid com or combat than two but the thing is the combat was very like linear if that makes any sense you would do the same attacks over and over again on here they're a bit different and even though it may seem similar it still at least has like a pretty cool feel to it and you feel like you're playing an entirely different game. Also, I think that in terms of in terms of the quality of the game, like how well it runs and everything, it's pretty decent, especially for a phone game. This looks like almost Fighter Z level. I'm not gonna say it's better than Fighter Z. Uh, for one, I'll get a lot of hate for it, and also. Because, in general, it's a console game. Of course it's going to be better than this. But, let's continue. Um, from the best of my knowledge, characters will not have their own special abilities. He did say he is going to try to make them unique, though. So, in that sort of sense, it might be like Fighter Z. And also, something I noticed is you could see more of Rysette's hair detail. And if you look at her pants right now... You can see that, like, her skin through her pants. I think that's a pretty cool design. Also, her belt looks a lot more detailed than in the second game. Alright, hold on. Let's rewind that. Let me talk about this attack. Because I've been hyped for this ever since I've seen it in Burst to Power. This attack is going to change things. It's a multi-key attack. I've never seen it before, even in Dragon Ball Z. I think the only thing I've seen closest to it is when Krillin does the Kamehameha thing, and that's different entirely, and when Boo puts his hand up and shoots it from the sky. But this looks like a completely like power level warrior exclusive attack. Please correct me on that. I don't think ever in Z I've seen anything where you shoot multiple key blasts at once straight out of your hand forward like that. Again, if so, please correct me on that, but I think it's a cool feature. Look how much, well, you can't really see the damage it did, but it looks like it's going to do a lot of damage. And that art for the explosion is beautiful. Yeah, there you go, you can see the numbers. Okay, I think, I believe that was a big bl ball blast. If you read my manga, that's a rice and mirror exclusive attack sorry if i spoiled that too much um here you can see her face clearly suno's face i think she has orange eyes from what i can tell and it looks like she's wearing like a scarf sort of thing but also you can see her belt more clearly it's a green belt with dark green uh i don't know if those are flaps i guess she's also wearing bandages on her arms she looks like a very interesting character in general I love her design. Like, <laughs> it's just so cool to me. And <laughs> Rice sets doing like a little, uh, what's it called? Like a bee twist or something. That's what it looks like. I used to do parkour, so don't ask. Well, I that pretty much is why I know what that is. And it seems that when they fly on the ground, they put their leg up. And that, I love that, like, animation. It's really cool. I like seeing it in Dragon Ball Super 2 in the Tournament of Power, because you can't fly in the Tournament of Power. Oh my gosh, that hit was cool. Okay, so... 
It seems like he's also changed up the way, or the creator also changed up the way that the collision attacks look. Like, the circle things that pop up when you, um, what's it called? When you collide with your opponent, like you punch them. Um, contact. Yeah, the contact circles look a little bit different. And it's pretty cool. I also like the way the characters stagger now. Because in the other one, like, their head would get really big, and then they would, um, yeah. <laughs> also, if you notice at the top, there's five different bars. There's an XP bar, a health bar, a power level bar, an energy bar, and some white bar. Now, here's my theory, okay? My theory is that the white bar, or the yellow bar... What that symbolizes is your transformation energy. And what I mean by that is, when you're fighting, you will have a certain amount of energy after you transform. And the way that you achieve the energy is by continually attacking the opponent. Now, if you just stand there and do nothing, uh, and just like camp your opponent pretty much, then your transformation will run out and you'll be weaker. That's just my theory on it. I honestly hope that's not how it works. I hope that bar does something else. But maybe it's like, uh, like what's it called? Like it's how much stamina you have to recover before you can use an attack again. I don't know, but I think that's pretty cool. So that's pretty much the whole video challenge completed, just like Power Level Warrior 2. Um, oh, the smoke in the background is beautiful. I'm glad Ryset is back. I'm glad he's returning the other characters. And so far, this is all we have for now. We don't even have an official title for the game. It's TFPLW. Some people are assuming it means the finale. I don't think this is the last Power Level Warrior game. Um, Because this game is just... I mean, the second one got a million downloads recently. So... If the creator wants to make more in supply and demand, he will do that. Now, I'm not saying I don't want Burst to Power to come out. I think that game is going to be awesome, too. But I do not think this is the last Power Level Warrior game. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Stay tuned for more Power Level Warrior content, <laughs> obviously, at this point. And I will do gameplay videos of the other two before this one comes out. But, yeah, I'm so excited, guys. You don't even know how excited I am because now I can use characters to actually put in my story, okay? So, I'll see you guys in the next videos. Goodbye.